Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel Lewis Fishing. On this channel I aim to give people tutorials on how to set up certain fishing rigs, how to make baits and hopefully in the future I'll be doing some vlogs on my fishing sessions. If any of that interests you then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below and ding the notifications bell so you're notified every time I make a video. So today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make fishing goo. So this is going to save you a lot of money compared to like the cord goo. So the ingredients you'll need is glycerin. You're going to need for like one of the little bottles, you'll need about three of them for this. Then you'll need your flavouring. I've chosen lemon and orange because I'm going to be trying to do like a citrusy kind of goo and you'll need your colouring. I've chosen yellow and green. So first up, take your glycerin and just empty it into the bottle, into the Mixing bowl, sorry. Next, you add your colouring. I recommend to do about one to two of the caps for each colouring. So if you're doing one colour, I'd say two caps, but if you're doing Two, I'd say about one and a half of each. Can stain as well though, so this, so. I wouldn't recommend using any that you can't like throw away unless you're going to use it to make this again you can see it's stained your hands as well so next the flavouring well first I'll chill the next time see it's creating like the green kind of colouring of the cordagoo this for each flavoring I'll recommend about I've got these spoons and they're like measuring spoons and they give you the different like sizes so I'm going to be using the five mil one and I'm going to put about one and a half of each because I've got two but if you've got one I'd say about three of these The smell is quite strong as well, so you don't need particularly a lot of the flavouring. You can also use corn flour if you want, but with using corn flour, if you leave it too long, it like can gather at the bottom of the 
bottle so if you're going to be leaving it quite a long time I wouldn't recommend using that Hopefully in a minute I'll be giving a demonstration of what it looks like on baits when it goes into water. Right, so I've just been and gone and found just a feed pellet which I'm going to demonstrate what it does in the water. So I'll just dunk it in there. Right, so sorry for the camera, it's a bit shaky. I've just taken it off the mountain. Filming by hand. So now you see the water. Oh, put it there. I don't know if you can see the pellet there. Slowly starting to leak off the goo. See that? Yeah, so anyway, that's what it does. Again, one last look at the ingredients. So let's go over again, you need, if you've got two, you need about around 15 millilitres of flavourings and then around 100 ml of glycerin, which is about three of these. And then around two to three caps of colouring. So that's what it looks like. So this goo I've showed you how to make today will cost around half the price of the actual corda goo if you make it a few bottles at a time. And even if you don't, it'll still be cheaper. And if you're unsure about any of the ingredients I used and the amounts of them I used, I'll list all of that in the description down below alongside the method. And if you enjoyed today's video, hopefully you'll join me for my next video, which will be around hook tying or boily or pop-up making. And like I said again, if you enjoyed my video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below and ding the notifications bell so you'll be notified every time I make a video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.